it is the next question in your test paper. Convert the following angles to radians. Copy the question and answer them. A. 60 degrees. B. 135 degrees. C. 330 degrees. And D. 1260 degrees. Now here is my solution. Convert the following angles to radians. So what is the conversion factor? Well, you know, one full circle is how many radians and how many degrees? It is 2 pi radians, correct? If you go one full round, it is 2 pi radians or 360 degrees, correct? We can also say it is pi radians and 180 degrees, half of half, right? So we can say this is the relationship here is pi radians equals to half of 360. Half of 2 pi is pi. Half of 360 is 180 degrees. Correct? So that is the relation between radians and degrees. And we will use this relation to convert. And I will show you how I do it. So it is convert the following angles to radians. So we want radians at the end and don't want degrees. So to do so, what I will do is, we write the number as such, which is 60 degrees, and multiply it by, since we need radians, pi radians on the top. Pi radians divided by 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So what happens? Degree and degree cancel out, and you are left with radians. So that is a good way of converting degrees to radians. Well, the other way, of course, is if you have to convert from degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. Correct? In that case, you have to remember it always. And here we have a little bit of logic. Right? If you do so, you get pi over 180 divided by 60 is 3. Pi over 3, radians. Remember, radian is a ratio. So even if you don't write radian, it means radians. So that is very important to understand. So we can always write this as pi over 3 radians. Well, this answer is the exact answer. If it is asked to write it in decimal places, use your calculator and then write it in decimal places. Okay. Now, let's do the others. So the others, 135, you can always use calculator and write down your answer. So 135 degrees, I'll suggest write pi over 180. And if nothing is mentioned here, you have an option. You can write as an exact answer or using a calculator. So you can cal calculate this and say 135 times pi divided by 180 equals to 2.3561. nine right so you can write like this so depending on what the question is saying we can always convert it right to decimal places also radians right now here 330 degrees so 330 degrees times pi over 180 degrees it's good to write degrees degrees and degrees will cancel out you are left with radians right so here the answer could be we can again use our calculator and rewrite it. Or we can divide them. Correct? So we say, well, 0 goes 0. And then it can be divided by 3. So we can write this as 11 pi over 3 goes 6 times. So 11 pi by 6 radians. So remember, this answer which I am writing is an exact answer. And here, I can actually round it to two decimal places. So I can write this as 2.4 when rounded to two decimal places. So this is round, right? Rounded to tenth. I rounded to tenth this time. So I'll write rounded to tenth, one decimal place, right? So that is how you can convert degrees to radians. So you can do the next yourself and, of course, this angle is much more than 2 pi radians, right? And get your answers. Thank you.